Um, I am finally ready to do my update to my One Piece box set that I ordered from Amazon. It has been horrible. Like, ordering this One Piece box set has been so stressful and terrible. I do absolutely do not recommend that you purchase the box set, the One Piece box set one from Amazon at the time, at least at the time that I'm recording this video, which is, it's September 22nd and I think I ordered it the last week of August, so it, it was a disaster. Um, you guys all saw the first box set that I had come in. I still have it. Um, I contacted Amazon customer service after I read all of your guys' comments about it looking like it was like bootleg or like you, it definitely does seem bootleg. So I contacted customer service and I was like, I do not think that it is acceptable for a bootleg product to be sold for $150 on Amazon. And I recorded a YouTube video unboxing it like as I, as it came out of the box and they were like, we're really sorry. Um, uh, and at first they just wanted me to return this box set. So I was like, I live 45 minutes away from the UPS store. So to go and return this box set, which is really honestly unacceptable to have, re like I should not have received this in the first place. I told them that I wasn't gonna drive for 45 miles to go and return it so that I could get a new one. And so, what they originally decided to do was uh, they refunded me $150 and they let me keep this. And then they also ordered me a new box set to replace this one. So I was really happy about this and I was very excited for my new box set to come in. And I was like, yay, I got refunded $150, woohoo! Um, and I thought it was like totally going to be solved. and. I received the exact same bootleg box set again. So now two. Um, and it is exactly the same. I was getting all ready to record it and I was like, I'm going to open it and see, just like double check that it's the correct thing before I record a video. And here it is. <laughs> I didn't even bother to turn this one around. It is the same condition that this one came in. Uh, all backwards, upside down, they are damaged, they are stinky, they are like bent. So I got this box set and yes I was refunded $150 but I have these two box sets that now I'm not going to do anything with. So after I received this second Second, I can't believe that they sent me the exact same thing two times in a row. Um, I'll show you guys just if you don't believe me, but it's the exact same. So here's the second. Oh god, the bottom is falling out. Oh my god. Ugh. It is falling apart. I didn't even like... Oh, it's like... Not. Nah, it's like completely coming apart. <laughs> And I don't want these. I do not want bootleg one piece box sets. I don't. I paid $150 and then I got refunded $150 and then I got the same thing. Um, here is the same ones that you guys saw in my unboxing before. And yeah, I got two of these. I don't want two of them. So I was furious. Here is these two bootleg box sets two in it. Both from Amazon. Um, I contacted Amazon after I received this and I, I was furious. Like they refunded me. I spent probably two hours in the customer service chat, like trying to figure out and make this right. And I was like, well, I, I order a lot of stuff on Amazon. They're going to make it right. And the second time that I contacted customer service, they didn't do anything. They told me to keep the bootleg box set. They told me that I could make a like suspicious item, like there's like a suspicious item report or something. So I did that because these are definitely like illegal box sets. <laughs> so I made a suspicious item report. They then, if you go to Amazon right now, 
Um, it now says that it's temporarily out of stock, so you can't even order this. <laughs> um, I'm guessing they took it down after I made the like suspicious activity report. So uh, right now it's not even available on Amazon at all. And the two times I ordered it, I got the bootleg stuff. So I furiously like closed my Amazon chat because they refused to really do anything other than make that like suspicious activity report like really I I have spent so much money on Amazon throughout the years and they really I mean they did do the right thing the first time and the lady I chatted with was amazing um I can put little snippets of it over here so you guys can see I saved all of our conversations um but yeah the second the second person that helped me like they were like oh too bad I guess we'll take it We'll just make a suspicious, make a suspicious, suspicious item report and we'll take it off. So, uh, then I still had waited, I had waited a month really at this point for my one piece box sets and I got two bootleg sets and then I was like, whatever, where can I buy it that's going to be like legit and I can't go anywhere local around here. Like... I live in a teeny, teeny, tiny town in Idaho, like, <laughs> there is nothing, there's nothing close by besides the, the town that's like 30 minutes away from me, and there is no, like, chain bookstores there, they don't have box sets, um, you guys have seen me go to the store called Entertain Mart a lot, um, but it's like a small little, like, it's a, like an entertainment store, but it doesn't sell box sets or anything like that. So I can't go there. And Barnes and Nobles in Spokane, Washington, which is closest to me, um, they only had box set three when I went there the last time. So I can't really go, like, <laughs> even in Montana, they don't have any in stock. So nobody n near me uh, sells these box sets. Like, it is not possible for me to really go and buy them in person. So... I was trying to figure out where I could go and buy them online because Amazon, this was a scam or like I did get my money back but I'm still really really mad about what happened like this is not okay. I waited, I've waited like a month waiting to read one piece because of this. This is just, it's not okay like <laughs> I know it's, I read all your guys' comments like some of you guys didn't even believe me that I got it from Amazon and I got it from Amazon twice. I'll include my order and everything so you guys can see. Um, I really am shocked that they are selling this so hopefully once I made my report it gets taken down but I ordered it from Barnes and Nobles um, for about $200 so these bootleg box sets were uh, 150 so I just caved in and I spent the full hundred dollars on the Barnes and Noble box set. They didn't want to ship to my house so I had to take a gamble that it would even make it but it made it a couple of days ago but I've had a crazy week at work so I my cat is eating my dog's food. Hey go away. No. <laughs> uh yeah I've had a crazy week at work so honestly like I got home today and I was like, okay, I'm finally going to film my update for what happened. So I have two of these. Uh, Amazon just let me keep them, which seems really weird to me. So they must know that they're bootleg and like aren't worth anything. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. Amazon told, I told them I didn't want them, but I also didn't want to have to drive and return them. So they told me to donate them or like give them away. <laughs> So I don't know if anybody's interested in a boot two, I, I don't, I, two bootleg One Piece box sets, I guess let me know because I don't really want them. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with two gigantic box sets that are not legit. <laughs> um, when I, ha I should have my normal one now. So. I haven't opened this yet and if it if there is something wrong with it, I swear to god I'm gonna cry <laughs> because this has been such an ordeal. Like <sighs> hopefully my stress level at this situation is coming through. So here is my box set from Barnes and Noble. It is it came in a nice big box. It seems much bigger. Um I'll open this one and I'll compare it. Sorry, my leg 
is really itchy. Um, I'll compare it to my bootleg box set. Um, seriously, do not buy, do not buy the box, the set, the, do not buy the box set one from Amazon. Like, I thought it would be okay, and it usually is, but that, I'm still really mad about it. Like, please, please. I mean, it's from Barnes & Noble, right? It has to be correct, but that's what I thought about Amazon, too. All right, we got, let me scoot back. We got little floofies in here. More floofies. I spent, how much did I spend? I don't know. It says it spent 175, but I thought it was more with tax. Uh, more floofies. It <laughs> it is the right one. Oh my goodness! It doesn't look anything like. It doesn't look anything like those pieces of poo. It's beautiful. Oh my god! I can't believe they tried to sell that. Is this? Okay, here we go. It has a handle. <laughs> It says one piece on the front. This part is much different than the bootleg part. The little like logo is different. The sides are facing the correct way. The images are the same, but they're facing the correct way and they're on the correct spots. So let me pull out one of my, my bootleg ones. So here's one of the bootlegs I received. Um, I'm gonna scoot back. <laughs> Um, here they are. So the bottom one is the real one piece box set. Do I have it? Oh, the like pictures don't even match. The one, the bootleg has the same picture on both sides. So here we go. Uh, the bottom one is the Barnes and Nobles real one piece box set. And the top one is my bootleg Amazon box set that I have two of. It is not the same size. The bootleg one is much smaller and it has this wrong printing on the top and bottom. And like this one, the correct one, has the handle where it should be. Like this is definitely the legit box set and I'm really excited to open it because oh my god guys, this has been horrible. Okay, let's open this thing. I guess I'm just gonna order the rest of the box set from Barnes and Noble because I, I'm still super pissed off that Amazon sent me that twice and then they kind of were just like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I guess that sucks for you. So let's see. How do we open this thing? Oh, okay. It's Velcro. I'm like my bootleg. <laughs> okay, let's look at how the bootleg one opens. So here it is. I don't know if this is the right side or not. No. Uh, this might be, I don't know if this is the one I turned them all around in or not. Yeah. So the bootleg one doesn't have Velcro. It literally just opens like with flaps. And this is what the bootleg one looks like. I'll leave it open so I can compare volume because I definitely want to see what the bootleg volume looks like compared to the like legit. So, you all set it right here. This is the front. Sorry, my little boba. Okay. Beautiful. They look so much nicer. They look much larger than the bootleg ones, too. Like, that's weird. There's only one. That is so weird. It is definitely bootleg. Um, here is the bootleg wrong one, volume one, and here is the correct volume one. Let's look. Okay, so here they are. Oh, 
the covers look I guess fairly similar but they feel much nice like the real one is this one it feels much nicer the backs the spines <laughs> okay <laughs> this is the real one it's much thicker than the like super cheaply printed bootleg that I think the obvious way to tell that it's a bootleg is like it's longer than the original so the top one right now is the bootleg one and look at the difference in paper quality so the bottom is the real manga that I got from Barnes and Noble and this top one is the Amazon bootleg like it is not manga paper it feels like newspaper <laughs> so it is not the same um it's really interesting to see that they like tried to get it really similar but it's just not the the paper quality is not the same um let's look and see if the front page is different because oh yeah you guys remember how i told you it was printed really gray so here's the bootleg the bootleg gray and here is the normal manga. It's much more black. So much more vibrant and nice looking. Um, the copyright page. Let me look at the bootleg copyright. It does have a copyright page like in it. Um, the like printing is different. So it says Yeah, but honestly, the copyright pages are really similar. So the bootleg one, like, literally copied a copyright page, I think. But it is, it's definitely not the real thing. It's very, like, faint. It's very gray. It smells. like a real quality manga after those horrible pieces of poopies okay I am so excited finally I wish that this would have been the first one piece box set that I looked at rather than two of those um, yep and I have the little romance dawn one piece thing I believe this was supposed to come in those pieces of poo but it didn't so oh it's where Luffy gets his little scar yeah so cool so finally everything's in here like it should be oh there's another thing at the end like this is what I'm used to box sets being like not that disappointing horrible oh this is cute and then adorable. Okay, I I just feel really relieved. Like, I really do wish that I would have never purchased the Amazon box set at all. Like, here. <laughs> I'll put it on top of my real one. So, here we go. I mean, at first glance, sure. I guess it looks similar enough, but the thickness isn't the same and the paper is not the same. Um, the, the like, 
sizes at the top, like where they light up, is not like uniform like the regular ones. Um, yeah. I I really don't have any more words. I don't want this. <laughs> like I can't believe Amazon sold me two of these and thought it was okay. <laughs> like I I really just don't get it. Um, has anyone else ever received any like? completely wrong, illegal, <laughs> odd items from Amazon before, um, let me know because this is kind of a first for me where this, not this one, my horrible ones that are down here on the floor, um, where I've received just something that's not right that Amazon should not be selling for the price that they are. Like somebody clearly printed these and like bound them together like in a different country or illegally. So, I don't know. Um, do not buy, I would say do not buy your Amazon. Don't buy your one piece box sets on Amazon. Um, maybe the box sets two, three, and four are legit, but as of right now, that that is what I received twice in a row during the month of, the months of August and September. Um, right, like I said, it's out of stock right now on Amazon, so maybe it, it will come back and it'll be legit again. I did make that suspicious activity complaint, so hopefully that they actually do something about that because I really, I'm generally just super unhappy with Amazon. I make a lot of Amazon purchases. It's very easy living in a really small town to get it delivered to your house and it's super convenient. So honestly, I'm super disappointed and the, the customer service reactions were just so much different. The first time they were like, yes, we'll refund you and we'll send you a new one and you don't need to send it back. And then the second time I contacted customer service, they were just like, whatever, <laughs> does it matter? I guess it's okay that we sold you like a fake box set. So thanks for watching this video. Um, please be wary of the Amazon box sets. Um, I wish I would have known that that was a scam that was going on because I could have saved myself like a whole month and I probably could have read all of this by now. So it sucks, but I don't know. Now I don't trust Amazon anymore. So, uh, okay. Well, thanks for watching this video and I hope you guys are having a, a great fall. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.